So hello everybody, good morning or good afternoon, whatever. Um, today I'm going to be a little bit philosophical about how do we do things. So the question is, when you do something, usually you have two ways of doing it. Either you do it like a lot of people done it before you, in a traditional way, or you try to find the best possible way. And, um, well, I have to admit, I, I'd rather go for the second one. I always try to find the best possible solution. It could be, for example, fingerings and bowings. Um, if I have a new sheet of music, um, I'll look at the fingerings and bowings and I'll try them. And most times I find that with my long fingers and the way I play, I can do other fingerings and I like the bowings a little different with my Arcus bow. Um, so usually in the end all the fingerings and bowings are completely different. Uh, the same is of course true when it is when it com comes to bow design. Um, I, but today I'm not talking about sticks which is of course the main topic but about frogs. And it's basically about the question, what can we do to improve the frog and the button? And, and uh, that question came up because I realized that especially cellists often have the problem that when it's uh, getting hot and the thing gets slippery or when they have a little bit dry skin um, and then maybe the screws are not perfectly greased it can be quite a challenge to tighten up um, the bow properly and to readjust it, say in the middle of a concert. Um, so I was wondering maybe we could give the button a shape that is more grippy. And um, the traditional octagonal shape uh, obviously is something that um, uh, came about because it's quite easy to make. Um, you can make it from a um, solid piece of wood or metal or bone, whatever. Um, or the, you first do a square and then take off the edges and then you end up with an octagon. Um, just as you do with a stick. Um, but um, nowadays we have seen sea machines and we can make much more complex shapes um, with quite as much ease. So um, I freed myself completely of what was given and, and thought about the best possible solution for a button that would be much easier to grip and to hold so we can, we can uh, turn it uh, with much less effort. And um, what I came up with um, in its third or fourth iteration was a five-winged um, button uh, where you have a, a round-edged whatever shape uh, in which your fingers um, find perfect grip. And so with the same... Um, force or um, power applied that I can easily turn this button um, with the traditional octagonal button all I do is slip around so um, that is quite a difference um, you can experience that by yourself or you should try it by yourself just just um, find a moving dealer get some moving bows and, and, and try them um, side by side you'll you'll find the, the difference is really big. The next thing is um, what I also found um, I'm, I'm not a cellist, I'm a violinist and violist mostly um, and my bow hold is so that I put my thumb in front of the frog not into it and I think it's, it's, it's um, the most popular way nowadays um, and when you put your thumb in front of the, front of the frog, um, this piece here is a little too narrow actually to make a comfortable rest. And so I decided to give it a go and, and raise this part, this front, frontal part, 
so that the thumb has a higher rest position, which should make it more comfortable. And, and then, of course, we, we carved it out a little nicer so it has a nice curvature and doesn't look uh, too clumsy. And yes, so we combined the both elements, the one, the, the, the higher front part of, of the frog with the more ergonomic button to make um, a bow that is, or frog and an outfit that is more ergonomically than, than the standard setup. And yes, it has proven uh, its worth for uh, many players which have, which have tried them. So yeah, if, if you have a chance, try the two and let me know what you think and what you find. And I hope um, this new frog shape and shape of the button makes playing for you more easy and more comfortable. So that's it. Um, please do like, share, subscribe um, and, and give us your comments. Uh, we'll be happy to be in touch with you. Thank you. Bye.